Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Racing the Races. So, uh, this is for free members. Um, I've done a video already for premium and pro members, showing them all the ratings, discussing every race at Cheltenham and Doncaster. As free members, obviously you can't get everything. Um, but you, I will go through five races, three at Doncaster, two at Cheltenham, um, and talk about why I like a particular horse in each of the races. And we'll start off in the 11.50 uh, at Doncaster, which as it's the first race of the day, you can still see the ratings, even as free members. Um, and the horse I like in this race, if you've been following my videos and my analysis previously, you will know it is Funambule Savola. I really like this one. Um, it's actually running off a, f a four pound lower mark than when winning this race two years ago. Venetia Williams won it the year before as well with Iblio. Um, she didn't have a runner last year, so she's actually had two wins in this race from her last two runners. Um, Ned Fox takes four pound, uh, three pounds off, which means the horse is effectively running off a seven pounds lower mark than when winning the race. Um, and can certainly try and win this race because likely to go back for the, I think it's the Game Spirit Chase at Newbury, uh, which it's won the last twice. But that's a, a conditions race, you know, it's a graded race, so winning a handicap doesn't matter. Um, with that race. Um, yeah, so I really like Fun and Bully Savola here. The danger for me is Calico. Um, and again, if you follow my videos, you'll know why. Currently, you can get four, four to one about Fun and Bully Savola. I'm just refreshing that page. Um, this is going to be recorded at five o'clock, um, but it won't actually be released until tomorrow morning. So some of these prices may well have changed. Moving on to the 3.15 at Doncaster, obviously, as I said, I can't show you any more ratings. You just get to see the minimal stats. Um, the horse I like in the SPK Great Yorkshire Handicap Chase is Captain Orr. Captain Orr is currently being well supported. Might not be this price tomorrow. Um, creeps in at the bottom. Jack Tudor can, can do 10 stone 2. Um, is £5, I think, lower than when finishing second last year. The winner, Cooper's Cross, is £3 higher, so he's effectively £8 better off for two and a bit lengths. Um, I think Captain Orr can win here and then go on to Ascot in a few weeks' time and win there as well. Um, I think they were very keen for Jack to ride, and every time he couldn't ride, they didn't declare Captain Orr. 350 at Doncaster, the final race at Doncaster. Uh, Mon Morale would be my selection here. Um, it's just a better horse than the rest of these, significantly, in my opinion. A better horse. Harry came back in and said the horse needed three mile. And after going off four to one for a feature handicap over two and a half mile at Cheltenham. It was a good race anyway. Didn't run badly on its return. Um, even if this is three miles, they're not going to run it like a three mile race. They're going to run it, you know, it's not going to feel like a three mile premier handicap or a grade one that Mon Morale has been running in. It's going to feel a lot easier, and I think Mon Morale could win this quite comfortably, to be honest. If he gets the trip, he should win. Um, and he's currently available at 3-1. to one. We move on to the 12.40 at Cheltenham, the time for Novices Handicap Chase. In the premium uh, video, I did say something about this race um, with the future in mind. So sign up, check out the premium analysis for this race. But I will tell you who my selection is. Again, if you've been following my videos, you'll know who it's going to be. Unexpected Party, who is available at 14s. That's an outlier, and that's Bet365, so they don't count. It's available at 14s at the moment. Really like him. Um, his form is strong. He's dropped in the handicap. I'm hoping he can win here and, and maybe do the same at the Cheltenham Festival. And finally, move on to the 115 at Cheltenham. Who do I like in this race? This is probably my weakest of the five. Um, just because there's a couple that I'm worried about. The couple that I'm worried about are Grand Adam, who finished fourth in a similar race recently. And uh, Victorino, who looks like being the Venetia Williams first string. But with that in mind, I think that might be why we're getting a better price about easy as that. Is lower in the handicap after finishing sixth. Uh, in a good race behind the likes of Il Rodoto and Fugitive, um, was given a very gentle, patient ride that day. Dropped in the handicap, went up in trip, didn't stay. Definitely didn't stay. Back to this trip. Shane Quinlan taking three off as well means it's, it, 
you know, if they raced against each other, the likes of Il Rodoto and easy as that, again, I wouldn't think there's going to be a lot between them, and yet there's quite a big price uh, difference. And I think at 10 to 1, easy as that will run a big race. So a very quick video for you three members. Um, you'll see this on the morning of the racing. Thanks for listening.